So, so a question was asked about what you know about the girl that went missing a year ago tonight. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Lynn permitted an ETU student to post a, a one sheet on the inside of a glass window um, about a missing girl named Kelly King, um, a redhead, cute, slender, uh, missing ETU freshman, vanished on St. Patrick's Day a year ago. Um, she was from Boston, Massachusetts. You know, there's a last scene um, at the pizza barn around... With a five-foot red-headed odor man. His knuckles were arthritic and sore-looking. <laughs> I and found my yeah. note. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I know what there were notes of, about that. But that's all, that's all I have about it. I think I may have been taking some other notes too. But. Yeah. Basically said, you know, any information on her disappearance as a year draws close. Because this was posted um, at least a month ago, more, towards the end of January. And here we are, sort of mid uh, mid, mid March ish. Um, any information? Call the following number. Mary Lynn also said that she knew that uh, an interview with her roommate said a text message. Um, mm. I'm going to find my pot of gold with a, like a, a winky face. Was the last message her roommate got. <clears throat> now, leprechaun shenanigans. Yeah. Um, Erica comes home. She goes, "That little man is a hoot." Mm. Came over, came over, tried to uh, when I when I stopped by, he tried to kiss me, and he made a big show of pulling a chair, climbing <laughs> up on the chair so he could reach me. Of course, I had to let him. I had to let him get away with it. Anybody go through all <laughs> anybody go through all that really really deserves it. She's like, he smells y'all, he smelled kinda odd, like a like rotten pipe tobacco. You know, oh, kinda no. kinda like kinda like if it's skunky been sitting in its uh, pouch too long. Kinda skunky, but <clears throat> yeah, he's fun. He's getting uh he's getting kisses from all the girls around his table. All of them. It's like he's got like got like six maybe five girls sitting around the table. There's one he's particularly <laughs> looks like he's particularly fond of, and he's got this little, uh, little like uh, gold coin he keeps spinning, kind of like playing spin the bottle, and whichever one you know it lands closest to comes up and goes over and gives him a kiss. Damnedest thing I ever heard or seen. Mm -hmm. Huh? Where? Hey, what's it? What, what's this? What's this little pile of cereal doing here, Ava? You tell me, Erica. It seems everywhere I go, there's Lucky Charms, no matter what. She picks up a marshmallow, like a green clover, and looks like she's going to start eating it. Mir says, I wouldn't recommend it. Who knows where that's been? If that's been on this floor, you probably shouldn't eat it. <laughs> Five second rule? Not on a bar floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're right. Yeah, no, no. Uh, absolutely not. So they're doing another uh, another couple stance out there, and, and the little uh, leprechaun guy is out there uh, with a with a like a slender brunette, with sort of pale skin. He's, he's I, I don't know how he's doing it. He's awful short, but he's managing to, to get her under his arm as he twirls her. Um, it's almost like, like an a, like like an optical <laughs> illusion. She must be bending over, you know, just a little bit. Uh, to, to make him appear enough. not quite so sure. Hey, you see, he's, he's got like leather shoes. They're, they're, it's like a leprechaun outfit down to the little square buckle that you can imagine is on the top of both of his shoes. And It's a couple's dance? Yeah. Like a slow dance or something? Mm, moderate tempo. Or, it's like a, okay. It's like a two and a half or a three step. Okay. We're, we were talking about the missing girl, right? So, <clears throat> somehow, <laughs> I feel like this correlates. <laughs> um, I want to poke Shep. 
Okay. Yep. You kick him under the table. Yes. Ow. <laughs> you nudge My him. dangling you, legs. You, you nudge him <laughs> under the table. <laughs> we should go and do at least one dance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think it might be beneficial to also see if we can't get a little more information on this guy, considering he's... He goes dance with him? him. Uh, no thanks. I will dance with the weird little man. Oh, I'll let him know. (laughs) (laughs) I'll point him in your direction. (laughs) I'm not going over there by myself. (laughs) Buddy system. Um, Um, Oh my god. I just kind of, when, she, when <laughs> Sophia says that she'll dance with him, I just kind of look over at Lenny. Where is Lenny, by the way? I haven't seen him. She's, around. She's, he's sitting here with us. Wait, I didn't see him. I don't think he is. I asked you who I you, you said he was. I asked you who all oh. you'd want to come along. And you're like, Erica and me. Yeah. Uh, I did say Lenny, though. Yeah. I did. did Sophia wanted yeah. Lenny. She did want Lenny. Speak his name and he appears. Hey. Because I just thought he was there because you said the roommates went by too. There were two roommates. There were two roommates that were there. He'd he'd be at the at the uh, pizza barn somewhere. Yeah. He's never far. He's never far away. Well Avon Shepherd Avon Shepherd out doing a a, a reasonable facility of like a two and a half to a three step. Oh boy! Uh, mirrors like nerds dance. <laughs> mirrors <laughs> mirrors like I, I don't dance. Sophia, you go, you go out. Would you like to yeah. ignore Lenny, or would you like to pull Lenny out? No, I'm I'm pulling Lenny out. We're gonna go dance beside the weird little man. Okay, it's a um, it's a uh, counterclockwise circle on the dance floor, and there are some people that are quite good, and there are some people that have never done this before. I would put you guys in the, the latter category, I think. Um, but it's fine. Ava mm. yeah. and Shep, who have two left feet. Yeah, you, you four can, left feet. Because, because the. Um, we did okay the last time. It's sort of two. You know, con- you're right. It's two concentric circles that go at different speeds. So anytime you want to sidle up next to um, this little guy and uh, the gal he's dancing with. Oh my god, is this one of those dances where people like to switch partners? Lord have mercy for Ava. Not I just this, thought about that. Not <laughs> not this particular dance. Fun. There is a there is a barn dance, you know, they'll play later. Where the men are on the circle on the inside, the women are on the circle on the outside. I think, and they go rotating in different directions, and every every verse that goes through the music, you sw- you're at a new partner and add a new partner. So you, Erica, and Sophia dragging Ava to the dance floor. <laughs> I think they play like, how oh, is it? Dead, dead or Alive, Wild Wild West is the song. <laughs> Headed oh for the God. 90s, live. the Wild <laughs> Wild West. Seems strangely apropos uh, in some way. But yeah, I mean, if you have any That's questions, you, you can do this dance and you know everybody's pretty friendly. Jury or robots playing. Now that we're closer, what do we notice about him? Yeah. Yes, I was gonna say. Can we do a notice roll? Um, let me do. I don't think you really need to do a notice roll. Let me, uh... Oh, let's see. Let's see, I guess I have to create an intro. I shared an image. I'll share another image. Ah, is it in Discord? No, it's in the fantasy grounds. Where? Oh, hey, there it is. 
I mean, there's like two, two sort of pictures of him with a hat on and his hat off. He's kind of dressed in a, like a sort of a turn, turn of the century kind of an outfit, but it's it's unmistakably leprechaun esque, as it's probably a little greener than these images show and uh, has all the affectations, you know, the the uh, suspenders and of course the shoes with the little buckles and whatnot. And although there were a lot of uh, young adults here, college students, graduate students, um, young men and women, uh, he is among the oldest looking of the people here. And while some of the people here appear to be somewhat effete, students and white collar workers, there are a few people that you would classify as like cowgirls and cowboys. But this guy looks like a laborer. You can tell by the sort of knotted look of sort of the tendons in his forearms and his hands and the veins in his neck. He has a look of somebody that is not a stranger to uh, manual labor. And he is a very accomplished and unself-conscious dancer. And his smile could light up the room. He's just got dazzling white teeth and a very, very, um, a very uh, contagious grin and little wrinkles around his eyes when he smiles. His whole face smiles, you know, not just his mouth as he, as he spins, spins them around. Does the girl look like the missing girl from the poster? She looks nothing like the girl from okay. the poster. What are similar qualities? Uh, are there similar qualities between this girl and the girl um, that was taken? Like, do they have red hair or do they have similar features? This girl has black hair. It's pulled back and mm. pulled back into a ponytail, but she is um, slender of build, much like okay. the much like um, uh, the girl whose last name is King. Mm -hmm. What's her name? I want to say Candy King. That's not it. Was Kelly, that the, the Kelly, ritual girl? Kelly King. Mm, oh, okay. Ritual girl, ritual girl. No. The original. That was a, the Lily Boatwright, right? Or something like that? Ah, uh, yeah, not her. So I put, I put um, girl. You know, the <laughs> shout out to Phil Cho. Oh, uh, this girl's casting a magic spell. You could ignore that, but, you know, she's got the black ponytail. She, she doesn't look anything like Kelly King, who had red hair. But they both have sort of flawless porcelain complexions. And they're both look like they're about freshman or sophomore college student age. Similar builds. Um, Have I heard her go? That's wicked good yet. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, she's not from Vermont. Um, <laughs> or Boston. That's a Boston, Boston thing, thing too. Yeah. Ah, that's funny. Oh, my gosh. But, I mean, yeah, I, I guess there are, there are more similarities than dissimilarities. You don't think this girl looks Irish. She looks maybe like she is Greek or Italian descent, possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as you but guys are, as you guys like stumble by, he he slows his pace down and lets you, Ava and Shep, cross awkwardly in front of him as he doesn't want to bump into you and you know accidentally step on you, step on your feet or something like that. And he nods and smiles and winks at you. Oh, no. And he says something like, uh, Aye, you're looking good. You're looking good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What a, fi what, a fine, what a fine young couple of dancers you be. <laughs> and he spins this girl um, around, ends up on the opposite side of her, very slyly, like uh, he's leading in a skilled, in a skilled manner twirling her around him as he moves forward. 
as she's getting a little bit red, a little bit flushed uh, from the exertion and the band's playing. Yeah. And then the song ends. And he whisp <clears throat> he whispers something into her ear and she blushes even more. And they he takes her hand and leads her back, you know, to the table that they're sitting. Hmm. Oh goodness. Hey Shep. And uh Leonard Lenny, Lenny says, that guy looks he reminds me of Michael J. Fox. Really? <laughs> Goodness. I didn't. I didn't see it. You didn't. It looks just like no. him. Do, do, you, do you think it is him in disguise? <laughs> no, no. Fox is much younger. Think it back in the, in the year of nineteen ninety. Yeah, he was. But he, <laughs> he's an actor. He's probably he in his thirties, maybe. Dressed up. It could be a costume. Hey, Lenny shrugs. He says, "Well, remember the Ren Fair." Oh, there were people there who looked like elves and barbarians and goblins. And... It's true. He says, and you were, and you Full were the moons. And, and he says, and uh, <laughs> and so, Sophia, you were the, you were the, you were the prettiest young wench there. And then he turns, <laughs> be, then he, 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 turns, he turns, he turns, be red as he realized that wench was possibly not the word he was looking for. All he could think of was like surf. <laughs> Excuse me, I was a um, queen. Ma maiden, maiden, I mean, maiden. She was cosplaying the queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Hearing that, Shep waves over at at the uh, at the table with the guy, and just like, yeah, I, I, thank you, uh, yeah, for not. <laughs> laughing us off of the floor and he's like that's that's yeah. difficult that's a, that's a difficult thought to convey from <laughs> 20 yeah, it's just like, feet away it's but just if like you wave, wave if you wave to him he looks up and grins at you winks and he, and, uh, and he, 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 point, he points at Ava and smiles and nods just ever so slightly and Chip takes Ava's hand and is like come on uh, yes please Cheeks is going to uh, <laughs> He's in it. Let, let's go back to the table. <laughs> I I would I would love to go back to the table, Chef. Thank you. That was that was fun. Uh, hopefully nobody bothers me. <laughs> there's no cereal on my seat this time. No, there's not. I don't think there is. <clears throat> I think Sophia only brought one bag. <laughs> I prepared, but I, I should have over prepared. Oh, I just saw I just saw the answer to my question. That's funny. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Do I have tokens locked? I shouldn't have tokens locked. Oh uh, yeah. I guess I, it doesn't have to be. <clears throat> um let's see uh Oh my gosh. Look, Lenny's at our table now. Um Hey, everybody make a notice roll. Fun. Oh, yes. Hmm. Hey, nice. Erica fails. Unusual. No. I will go ahead and get him on. I will try higher. Oh, she got a plus two because she has alertness. Nice. Cool. Yeah. That was the character as it was given to me. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what kind of roles we have here. Uh, oh, let's see what do we now. Okay, Eva, success. Oh. Sophia, very good success. Erica, success. I guess everybody succeeded except Lenny. Lenny's too busy trying to stare into Sophia's eyes with a faraway look in his I gaze. Know. Um, you all see uh, this this young, or I'm sorry, this this old, older gentleman dressed like a leprechaun, this 
short in stature, but just heaping full of charisma, um, walking arm in arm with this gal, and they're kind of going out the a door that's is there a door back there? Yeah, out the out the back door. And I'll draw. Like an, I'll draw like an arrow. Super sus. I can imagine there's a door there. Yeah. You can imagine that, and, and uh, with a with a ray, Sophia, you see that he's got like a little bag, a little drawstring bag, in his hand, and what looks to be maybe like a chap. You notice this too, like a little piece of wood, in his hand, like a little. You just get a get a glimpse of it, but he's definitely got a pouch in his hand. So a pouch and wood. Like a little wood, uh, like a little dowel rod or something. Mm. Can I? There might be lucky charms in that pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Can I roll a cult just to, or my ritualism a cult to see if, your chef's kind of, since he really remembered everything about the missing girl. Sure. He's been, he's been sure. on alert. Sure. Give me so roll. I just want to see if he can get an idea of what that could be, if it's something that he really should be concerned about. Success with the race. Um, okay, for free, and this isn't really related to the occult, you know that the the people that want to smoke can't smoke in here. It is after smoking was banned at most establishments. Mm -hmm. So you know that back door leads to like a little area to have roped off that you would call like a smoking area. So the people don't all have to gather around the front door of this establishment. Yeah. There's some dumpsters back there. Not part, not part of the smoker's lounge, but you know, you know, that's back there. So with a, oh yes, yeah, with a raise, what do you know about leprechauns? Um, they of course guard the Fae's wealth, their treasure, um, in little buckets, little pots of gold. And they always have to keep moving and hiding them to keep people from finding them at the end of the rainbow. You know that they are the, the cobblers of the Fae um, that make all sorts of beautiful shoes with unrivaled skill. And you also know that a leprechaun is, is most likely to be seen with a bag of smoking tobacco and a pipe. Mm. That's as much of a symbol as, as the, you know, the leprechauns as like, you know, the, their hat with a little, you know, or a four leaf clover or something like that. Okay. But I don't know or haven't, because I'm just assuming Shep would have done some research just on leprechauns in general with since we had that little incident. <laughs> Which one? There were a few. There were the rainbow flags. Yeah. That were, that were, that were strung rainbow up like flags, a rainbow. Red hair. Lucky yeah. charm attacks. Yeah. Sophia's um, art project turning all the leaves turned green before returning to their uh, shoes original yeah. color. being all up on the front door. Yep. Is there boxes of lucky charms jumping off the shelves, pelting you? Because what's concerning me is, or Shep is, is there anything that he's done research on that would have pointed out that they are that there are malevolent versions? Oh, absolutely. You know that there are all sorts of of what you would call wicked and evil leprechauns. Um, always having to be very secretive and moving their treasure around. You know, they're very they're very tricky. And the most malevolent of them are called like red caps. Little little leprechauns or little fairies that wear red hats. And they're red because they use them to soak the blood up of the victims that they kill. What color was his hat? <laughs> Green. <laughs> Just have to ask. Um, you know I mean, that they, that's a fair question. <laughs> you know there are in in the mythology that they're able to teleport. Okay. 
and they're very charismatic. They're able to like use misdirection to convince someone that you know the treasure isn't really the treasure, that the real treasure is over the next rise. And they'll, they'll say things like, okay, you caught me. I have to give you my treasure. And then they'll give them something that isn't the treasure, like, you know, like bits of lead painted gold, something like that. You know, such legends. Right. Yeah. Because so, Shep's like, yeah, he, he doesn't care about the leprechaun's treasure. <laughs> He's just more concerned about the girl. So. Uh, right. And he, Shep also is wearing his pin. If I if Ava gave it to him oh, sure. on Valentine's Day, sure. he would be oh, wearing yeah. the pin. I also, imagine Ava has it on her little bow that she keeps around her neck for that oh. covers that massive scar as a centerpiece. Heck it, yeah. It doesn't really go with the with the with the outfits, but it's certainly a nice a nice little piece of jewelry to wear, sure. <laughs> They're already weird nerds. <laughs> I mean, come on, Rio, <laughs> Cajun, you know, Day of the Dead. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it all oh, absolutely. Right. circles absolutely. around. I, I, I love that they're just these weird little nerdy kids. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Um, yeah, we didn't talk about which five comic books, but I'm sure you chose like a Squirrel Girl was among the comic books. The Shep you paid, paid for you. We got some new comics. We got some jewelry. It's all a good day. <laughs> I have a shrunken head stashed away. <laughs> sure. Some, oh, somewhere, you uh, Halloween. <laughs> somewhere along the way, I have hinted to Sophia that she needs to let be in on Lenny's study group. Oh, you want you want in on Lenny's study group? You, me? Yeah, but Sophia's not taking any math classes. Math classes? You mean you don't have any general ed classes? <laughs> I'm taking like art history, art, mm-hmm. more art, like theory of design. Mm-hmm. There's theories. <laughs> Lots Shep, of art. Going to like say anything that makes it seem like it but he will hint maybe you should go there's one or two gen i'm like there's like you know literature history yeah bring him pie or something on his you know to help him concentrate on his studies i already brought him pie i made a whole pie i have to make more pies (laughs) when the i'm sure he loves it and then of course this would have been done like right after um yeah, a month ago. <laughs> Not a month ago, right? Yeah. I am where in St. Patrick's Day right now. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, but, 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 a jury yeah. of robots. <laughs> when they're playing, suddenly, the sound that is emitted from the speakers ceases to be their drum, um, electric guitar, bass, and keyboard. It's almost as if their speakers are suddenly tuned in to like an old radio. You know, the old radio that crackles with the tubes, the vacuum tube, vacuum tubes, or is that just computers? Whatever. An, an old style radio. And it starts playing somewhere over the rainbow. Oh no. And they're like looking at each other and, um, the guitarist is frantically uh, spinning the dial on his speaker, on his like woofer and subwoofer, and you know, guitar speaker, electric speaker, and the keyboardist is turning his, you know, the machine on and off and on and off. You see the lights oh, no. going up and off, you know, from as he as he tries to like restart, and the drummer's just sitting there with his, you know, not drumming. He's, you know, oh my gosh! Lo- looking looking around, saying what the. What Devil's going on, um, and the, the bass player is continuing to play, but you, you don't hear the sound of him plucking his bass. It's you know somewhere over the rainbow. 
Uh, don't like that. Nope. Last time mm. we had Wizard of Oz stuff, mm. things happened. It was scary. Shep's automatically, he's he's reverted to Creole and he's going, Tante, this please. Spirit is, spirit normal night. Help. this is supposed to be a normal night. Beer and friends, a normal night. Beer, friends, and pizza. It was supposed to be a good day. <laughs> You see, you jinxed it. You brought the lucky charms and you jinxed it. You see what you did? <laughs> I didn't bring the lucky charms. They just appear suddenly out of the void. I, they follow you, remember? Mm -hmm. They don't last mm -hmm. long. They're magically the void. <laughs> Shep, show me a spirit. Show me a spirit. Okay. That's a arguing with Sophia about lucky charms. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a um, your Tante appears next to you, sitting there, looks at you. Something. Mon petit shoe. Mon petit shoe. Auspicious. A celebration. Oh, oh, I love your pins. They're beautiful. Oh, thank you. My girlfriend got them for me. Ava, you remember her. But of course. Matching pins. They're lovely. They remind me of, of, of the islands. They take me back to a time. Oh, do, do you not see her? Do you not see her, mon petit shoe? There, by the door. I look over to the door. You see a translucent apparition of a red-headed girl standing by the front door looking in, in the direction of your table. I look back. Do you not see her? She seems... She seems so sad. I will get up and with Tante make my way over towards the door. Um, I'll take a spirit roll from everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me again? No. Okay. Can I re-roll oh. that? Why? Of, of course you, of course you may. <laughs> you got a seven. A lot of sevens. That's better. Um, better than you've three? seen Shep when he's talking to his Tante. It's almost like he's talking to an invisible friend. He's obviously conversing with somebody. It's not like he's talking to himself, you know, muttering. He's having a yeah. conversation. It's just he, all done in Creole. He gets up and he starts to uh, stroll purposefully towards the front door. Huh? Oh, I, I, he's. I think I think Shep he's on the move. move. He zeroed in on something spooky. Oh, Shep, what what's happening? Um, uh, Shep, Sophia, maybe explain. Tell any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, Shep sees ghosts. Oh! <laughs> I mean, um, that's, that's more blunt than I expected it to be. Shep just whispers down to Ava. I panicked. And I didn't his, know what else to say. In his broken <laughs> Spanish, he goes, I see the missing girl. Oh, no. Birds fly oh, over the man. rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? And then, with a crackle, you hear the, the bass player, boom, 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 plucking his bass <laughs> into the bass sound. The girl looks at you sadly, points out the front door, and fades away. <gasps> I go out the front door. Okay. Poor Lenny. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, we'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn to Letty and say, I'll be right back. You um, can just... Okay. Yeah. He'll sit, he'll sit, he'll sit with Mir. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a bit. I'll be, I'll be right back. We're going to talk about the Wednesday and then I run off. <laughs> We're going to talk about the wench thing. <laughs> it's like, listen, unacceptable. I am queen, sir. You will learn. <laughs> what are y'all doing? She was, she, she, door. she was so sad, mon petit shoe. Yes. So, such, a, <clears throat> such a beautiful young girl. She disappeared a year ago. Today. Uh, well, Petit Shu, she, she appeared to you and you only. Yes, um, I believe that her disappearance has something to do with a uh, dancing leprechaun. Mm -hmm. Who just took another girl outside. I know not leprechaun. That's good, because maybe they don't know our ways. They are fey, though. Ah, more petition. Nespa, she says. Nespa, just so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will need to be on alert, and I'm just going to head out, and then once I get outside the door... Mm -hmm. I kind of moved you outside do, into the parking lot. Yeah. Do I see... Do I see anything that draws my attention? Um, like a truck leaving, or... Anything like that. I mean, there are all sorts of cars. They're the, they're the folks that have had enough. They're pulling out. There are certainly mm -hmm. Jeeps, trucks, and sedans. There are also trucks, Jeeps, sedans, motorcycles, etc. Coming into the parking lot. There are one or two that pass in front of you. Look like they're circling for a, uh, for a close parking space before going out onto the road or into the vacant lot next door, like the overflow lot. But do any of them look like, you know, they're shamrock green? Um, <laughs> Maybe not. Well, I mean, green, one, yeah. I mean, well, it's hard to tell. One of the ones that's circling around looks like it could be a gray green color. Okay. Looks like a I, couple in it. Because if if the if the apparition didn't kind of point me either way. Yeah, you know, once we get out here, if, if she's just completely disappeared, then I would start trying to make my way around um, to where we could eventually get towards the smoking area. Okay. Um, Shep, you and Tante sort of round the corner. Mm -hmm. Um the, of course, the uh, the parking spaces don't abut the building directly. There is a sidewalk around them. Um, Ava probably close by. Sophia log yeah. lagging slightly to the rear. Erica comes up behind you, Sophia, and she sticks something into your hand. It looks like a it looks oh. like a paper placemat with some scribbling on it. Oh, oh! I I look at it. I stop in the, to read it. She says. Rainbow Ranch. It's where he works. Rainbow Ranch. Oh, and, oh, and, and she's, okay. she stuffs it into your hand and it's kind of crumbled. And she takes really? off she takes off running the other way in her cowgirl boots. Ka thunk, ka thunk, ka thunk, ka thunk, ka thunk. <laughs> and the music continues to spill out the door as the doors open and close as people come in and go out. And... Yeah, you hear the, you can feel the thump, 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 thump of the bass and the drums. Mm. Uh, I'll poke Chef and Chef. 
<laughs> I mean, Sophia's, yeah. Sophia's got the map. You guys were kind of clearing the corner when Erica yeah. and Sophia had that, that quick exchange. Just lightning fast okay. exchange. I'm just gonna ask Shep what's uh what's the plan? What's happening? What are what are we Because uh... she doesn't understand Creole, but she knows that he is interacting. Um I believe that the girl he was dancing with is endangered the previous lady mm. is no longer with us. Yeah, if you're um, seeing her as a I, ghost, then she's passed. And I think she was the what gave us, what brought out, gave the song out as a warning. You think that she might have been the one that's been giving us signs this whole time, too? Maybe. Is she, is she responsible for the Lucky Charms fiasco? That I don't know. Animated cereal. It could happen to anybody. <laughs> of course, you know, you were near Sophia at the time, so, and Erica. It's true. They're always up to shenanigans. <laughs> Once I catch up to them, I'm going to show them the note. <laughs> like, them speaking know. of shenanigans. <laughs> yes, Erica said... That guy works at the Rainbow Ranch. That makes sense. Ranch. So wow. let's let's head to the Rainbow Ranch. It's a crude map. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically got like two highways on it. And then like the second highway goes by like a little square. And it says um, Rainbow Ranch. <laughs> and it probably... What, and it what probably, highway this was? Yeah, it's, it's outside of Pine Box. Uh, okay. To, okay, to the, so to the north. being a local, I would yeah, at least have an idea. Yeah, you recognize the highway numbers and the intersection, and it looks like that second leg of the journey after you turn off of one highway onto the next, um, it says uh, like 17 MI. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's not too far away, but if, because he left in the back door, right? Mm -hmm. I have a feeling he, judging from what he, the text was that the last lady sent, he's taking her mm. back to his place. So the ranch. So we got to go. Shep, you got, you, you have to drive. This okay. is on you tonight. I can't, I can't deal with this. He has been drinking. I have been drinking beers, a lot of beer. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna well, pee green tomorrow. And I will um, tell Lenny that we have to go. I will text Mir to let him know that we uh, we've got a mission um, yeah. to save somebody. And that maybe Lenny shouldn't actually wait up because I don't want to tell. I did hold him to wait that I'd be back, but I might not be back. And I don't want him. They'll probably kick him out when they close the pizza bar. Um, <laughs> I, I go, Lenny, take Lenny back. <laughs> Ava, uh, Sophia will meet him at the house. Okay, message later. comes back. Okay, I'll pay tab. Lenny's <laughs> talking to. No, a redhead yeah, no. girl. No, I'm just kidding. He, oh, say he's he just he just says, oh, oh, "Okay, I will pay tab. Don't worry." We have. I came back. Pizza. I'm not. It was free. So the pizza was free. <laughs> Definitely the pizza. And pizza I think the, the leprechaun paid for the beer. So actually, I didn't have to pay anything. Oh, no, the, le no, the no, leprechaun didn't pay for the beer. The okay. He was buying beer for the folks over on that side. Okay. So. Um, okay, you hop he into. Uh, That's I something guess. else I owe Mir now. <laughs> I don't. I had a Coke. I paid for it myself. <laughs> it I Coke, didn't have no Coke beer. I had my one time experience after I died. That's good enough for me. <laughs> so you hop into uh, Chef's truck and you uh, start driving the downtown Pine Box, Texas roads to make it out. 
into to the, the, to the highway. value mystery machine. To the highway. <laughs>